There he is, Chris Bosch, back on a basketball court and a great side, a scary second half of the NBA season last year. Uh, more on Bosch in a moment. First, Amari Stoudemire making his yes, debut. That has some fresh legs. Ninth pick of the 2015 draft. Frank the Tank showing off from outside. Show your range, Frank. I like it. <laughs> now, Dwayne Wade getting it from Chris Bosch. Uh oh, Wade. look at Bosch. Nice pass, and D-Wade doing what he does best, cutting back door. Oh, not between the legs, Bosh. You're getting fancy early. Wade had 12 points. Now, Bosh, remember the blood clots forced him to miss the second half of the season? Mm. Yeah, Cup. Getting the friendly roll. Bosh, a team high 14 points, 6 of 11 from the floor. Played, played about 23 minutes. 10th pick of the draft, Justice Winslow. Ew. I see a young fella out and run the lane. The Dragons will love that. Kemba Walker from way downtown. Three of his 17. Well, Jerry, we call it a deep, deep, deep money ball. <laughs> <laughs> you get four for that? No, you still get three. Gerald Green's on. Uh oh, 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 highlight reel. Oh, still got hops. My goodness, you give me that too early in the season. Just preseason, Double G. Give it to me again anyway. How good is it going to be to have him behind Wade? Nerf hoop. That's what I'm be saying a lot this year, in Miami this year. <laughs> Nerf hoop. Green had 12. Frank the Tank, 3 of 11 from the field, 9 points, 11 rebounds. Brian Roberts goes for 21. Tyler Hansborough grabs 17 rebounds. Hassan Whiteside did not play for the Heat with a strained right cap. Uh, Eric Spolster saying after the game that it is amazing to have uh, moments like this. you got to be grateful for moments like these. Talking about Chris Bosh coming back, and, and Lisa, you got to know, after, after a scary, life-threatening setback like that, to be on the court is one thing, but but just to be knowing you're okay is another. I think for Chris Bosch, you can tell that he's sort of been just revitalized, not only with life itself, but the fact that he gets a chance to get back out on the court and play a game that he loves. I heard a soundbite earlier talking about he's probably the only guy looking forward to, to, to training camp, you know what <laughs> I mean? Just to be able to get back out there and, and, and be around your teammates, to hear the, t the talk in the locker room, you don't realize how much you miss that until you get it taken away from you. No, that's a great point. I had a chance to be down there for media day. That's one of the things he touched about. But just laying there and, and realizing how much he loved the game of basketball, his family, the NBA family reaching out to him, really made him feel good. So you hit it right on the head. You never hear a guy after his 13th season, well, going to his 13th season, where he say he's looking forward to training. <laughs> right. Chris Bosch is looking forward to it. Well, we wish him the best of luck.